Hey yo, welcome to the channel. Today I'm about to do a reaction to everything wrong with the Suicide Squad because we already did everything good with the Suicide Squad, so now we have to see what everything wrong because you know, you gotta see both sides of the story. But I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of ish that like I kind of caught that were like that was kind of weird, but you know, shook it off. But yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. This episode is sponsored by Bright Sellers. I'm sorry they did not pay me that much for this. But overall, because the packaging is recyclable and the movie was free. kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie, I think. Oh fuck, 17 minutes. But yeah, we've already seen what's good with it. It had like a hundred and was it a hundred or something, or was it like 79 wins? I don't know. But now we gotta check out the sins. Oh, so menacing. Hmm. So bad. It's got a nice bed. Okay, so he looked like he so he did, uh he uh he on Marvel Gang. Okay, got you. It's a sunshine. Has this little bouncy ball. This is more like daycare than prison. Also, Folsom Prison Blues is playing, and the ball bouncing is super close to being on the beat of the song, but it's just off enough that it's driving me crazy. Michael Rooker <laughs> appears in a James Gunn film cliche, opening your movie with gratuitous abicide. Prison cafeteria ran out of apples? Cool hero walk shot, but why is giant American flag? This may be an aircraft takeoff zone, but it's still a f***ing prison. I mean... For-profit prisons in the U.S. do not wastefully spend any money, let alone on something as stupid as an American flag as big as a football field. <laughs> Casting your brother yeah. as a weasel. Turn it around. Uh, no. Yeah. Wait. Um, what? Ain't no way. That, wait. Oh, I think that was... Was that James Gunn's brother? Because I remember in Cinema Wins, they said something about... James Gunn's brother was... I remember they said family was his family, his brother or some shit or cousin was involved in this. So was it the weasel? I, I thought it was someone else, but I don't know. Not weasefully spend any money, let alone on something as stupid as an American flag as big as a football field. Casting your brother as a weasel. Turn it around. Uh, no, yeah. Mm. Put it in the... When the mutated weasel has a better understanding of how seatbelts work, you should really start to question your value. Yeah, bro. And you thought it was a werewolf, my guy. Life and death situations. Also, discount Nathan Philly. Holy sh! What does Savant do again? It's Brian Durlin. He's an expert in weapons and hand to hand combat. Yeah. Thank you. Now that I know Savant is basically good with guns, I'm sure I will have no problem understanding what he brings to the team that is different from the likes of Deadshot, Deathstroke, Peacemaker, Rick Flag, Blackguard, Harley Quinn. And oh my god. <laughs> it's like, yeah, great. Another marksman, another guy great with guns. He is so special. I thought he was gonna have some real, you know, ball ability, but I guess it's just accuracy. And let me guess, he about to say Idris Elba is um a knockoff dead dead shot. Yeah, and um yeah, he was called Bloodsport or some ish, but basically ninety percent of every Suicide Squad we've ever seen. What are you yeah. doing? Uh, uh, oh, hey, hey, just good meeting sure everybody. Just, uh, just our normal casual morning meeting. Did Discount Nick Frost really need to come up with a cover for this? <laughs> I seriously doubt that Waller gives a sh about some office betting pool when she is the one sending the subjects of said pool to what is clearly advertised as I mean, a yeah, true, fact, true, considering she true. literally holds the key to their brain blasting button. I'm amazed she isn't using her insider knowledge to get in on the action. Mm. Your name is Letters? Names and letters, dickhead. Boomerang would be amazing. <laughs> <in some cases. laughs> American women all have enough accents. We do. Because uh, we don't got none. That's Texas. Oh, Did anyone wow. check on where the weasel <laughs> could swim? I mean, you know what? I'm not going to say shit. Anyway. Regardless, how about somebody just gives him a hand anyway? You know, just in case he is, in fact, drowning. Yeah, exactly. So he waits until he is fucking sinking before finally deciding to help the poor rat bastard. Why is the Corto Maltese army only appearing on the screen now? This monitor yeah, they should have. Been, yeah, they should have been like, okay, maybe they did know that they were there, but like I said, like they say in the movie, that squad is just used as a distraction, so maybe they already been sit, th but at the same time, it's like, why hide it before, but, and just make them pop up, I don't know. Be hooked up to a UAV. Yeah. What's the point of sending it in after your team is already at the place that you are UAV? Exactly. Well, survives all of this, mostly due to her plot armor. Exactly. Honestly, I'm not prepared to allow my brain to process this. Harley, take this one for me, will you? What the? How's Team Two holding up? Holy double cross, sneaky Team Two, Batman! I am fully aware of how toxic some office workplaces can be. 
but this movie seems to be going to extreme lengths to make sure these people are as unlikable as possible. <laughs> Celebrating their winnings is gross, but I can kind of see it. But why is this guy flipping off the pictures of the deceased as well? <laughs> why, movie, why do you want me to hate these people? Especially since they end up saving the day at the end of the movie. I mean, yeah, true, but I'm not gonna lie, I kind of laughed at this part because he's like, why? Wait, but why would you bet on Weasel, though? That's my question. Why would and you... And with this bird vengeance, I present to you the only thing that comes close to a fully realized story arc. Is mm. he the only guy cleaning this entire prison? True. It's... Yo, I never even thought of that. Who? Okay, maybe I should see his turn, you know, punishment and all that. Kids. God damn it, who am I supposed to be rooting for in this damn movie? I don't only care that you got caught. I care that you got caught for stealing something as stupid as a f***ing TV watch. <laughs> <laughs> but was like, I like that scene. I love and that scene. And so begins the apparent redemption of the most f***ed up office team since Dunder Mifflin opened its doors mm. in 2005. But why are Waller's tactics so shocking to him? He's been here long enough to be betting on which Z-list DC character dies or survives each mission. But the fact that Waller would use a child to blackmail an inmate onto the team is somehow shocking to him? I mean, She's true. playing the hits right now. She's done like... You're having a laugh. What? You just said each member of the team is chosen for their unique abilities. He does exactly what I do. Bloodsport would be dead be shot at CinemaSins. Wow. <laughs> I like that. I like that because it's like they usually say they're good as. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. They still carrying with them jokes off. He's just another off brand, you know, dead shot. But, does Rat Catcher 2 keep her orange juice at room temperature? And why does Rat Catcher 2 have a hamster ball? The rat won't even fit in that thing. Why would you do your hmm. big mission presentation in such a way that the Deep Reaper's shadow blocks part of the presentation image? Just take some of the money from the prison's giant American flag fund and put it into <laughs> better projector setup. But the country has been okay, ruled fair. with an iron fist. Hey, that's a Marvel property. Don't you need permission to use him? Oh, your iron fist. Hey, is shout to out. infiltrate Jotunheim. Of all the names and all the collected history of humanity, why did the writers pick Jotunheim? It's as if they thought, hmm, everyone loves those Thor movies. Maybe we could steal some of them via osmosis. It's <laughs> an overhead projector. Okay. Do you ever use it anymore? No, not really. So why don't you just throw it away? Rat Catcher 2 would, would be, be got all of these Yeah, I was about to say, at this point, everyone would be good at cinema scenes. Because it's like, they've been, they just got, it's like, I like these movies when like logic is, you know, implied. Or it's just, not implied, but is used. You know, y'all get what I mean. Y'all get what I mean. You know what I think? I think liberty is just your excuse to do whatever you want. America. You. I don't want to say anything, but. Right? the only one fit to carry my traveling. Oh, fine. It's cool when the British guy says it, but when I said the exact same thing in college, it somehow meant I was being a creepy <laughs> jerk. Being a dead corpse. <laughs> the titty monkey, sometimes called the titty monkey by ignorant Americans with a fondness for breasts, are vocal social creatures that live along rivers and lakes. The, in the fuck? Amazon. Well, we are not. In my admittedly dated experience of slumber parties, I always found it was a good idea to expel one's polka dots before settling in for bed, especially in mixed company. Okay, let's talk about this sequence of events here. Polka gets overflowing and goes into the woods for a color gasm, but that wakes Bloodsport. Then, separate from all that, King Shark just happens at that moment to be trying to eat Ratcatcher 2, but her rat Sebastian is able to signal Bloodsport just in time. Phew! That is a couple loads of bullshit. Yeah, fair, fair. Same to Nawe. Same. If I die because I gambled on love, it will be a worthy death. But you'll never know one way or the other because you'll be dead. Would it not be less risky to just take turns taking watch instead? Yeah. You know, just in case Discount Jaw's stomach is... <laughs> Why? We really gotta call him oh Discount. God, I'm good at my job. <laughs> I found him. Seems more like the computer found him or the satellite. You were literally leaning back drinking a soda, so I don't know how you did anything. How? <laughs> how? How are these... I didn't even think of that. Okay, like, it's like, fair, bro. Cinema sense, they be diving deep into, you know, they just dive deep. They just dive deep into ish that just. I'm just there to watch a movie, bro. I'm not there to dissect on my first watch. I found him. Seems more like the computer found him or the satellite. You were literally leaning back drinking a soda, so I don't know how you did anything. How? How? How are these two chuckle fks still standing around as if none of this excessive blood sporting and peacekeeping was happening mere feet mm. behind them? Damn, this movie is fun. That was and these brutal. Two sweet galloping plot conveniences. Did Waller set the difficulty on this mission to off? <laughs> Man, this guy's got lungs. Bro. I haven't seen someone blow this hard since Jamarcus Russell. This whole tower is polka dotted Pause. down to the ground, and no one inside the special hut where Flag is hears it. Why did my people not alert me? Why oh, didn't? How couldn't you hear that thing? Exact. Why didn't you hear that? Platform what fall collapse after polka dot man whatever. Why does Radio Shack ask for your phone number when you buy batteries? I'd make a deal with the devil to stop them. People who say this are really underestimating the devil. 
Trust me. Doctor, who is that? Project Starfish. And the hot dog flavored water? Whatever you Mario Kart racing D bags are called! That's all of the ists. Put this on. <laughs> She is completely tied up. How the f is she supposed to change clothes? But somehow she did it. Senorita Queen. And that suspiciously large amount of smoke coming from that guy in the corner cigar. Also, apologizing for something you have complete control over. Seriously. Exactly. I was, I was saying that the dude legit. He was camping, bro. That dude was just camping, waiting. Then he hears the door. Then the security, the fucking butler would have been like, hey, yo, yo, she's here. It's like, just do it now. Now or never. Then as soon as she walked in, that's when he's like, you know what? It's time for me to get out the pool. Then he's going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean to show you a little extra skin. Bro, she's like, sit down, bro. You knew what you was doing. Clearly arranged for all these people to be here for Harley's arrival. And now he's acting as if his anaconda don't want none. I, yeah, I was back. saying this. I was the just saying that, bro. At least not directly offensive to the American government. But this new regime the U.S. hates. How is there a turkey on this table? Does the South American island of Corto Montes have native f***ing goddamn turkeys? Because I don't <laughs> damn think they do. But also, <laughs> man, import, my guy, import. down on a turkey leg is a direct reference to flag voraciously biting a chicken leg in Suicide Squad. I ain't, I ain't catch that. I, I wasn't paying attention that much to Suicide Squad. Is this all the same day? I think this is all the same day. Yeah, is it this is. all the same day? It is, right? This is why, people. This is why I'm always going on about overcandling. <laughs> Leaving your pistol unsheathed during coitus. Nazis. Came here. Seeking asylum after World War II. I swear if you counted up the total number of leftover Nazi scientists that are out and about doing sketchy shit in every movie in and TV every, shows. I, I, mean, it's like, I mean, true. It's like, wow. It's like, okay, I can see why. I can see, okay, like, I can see why they put them as, like, as the bad guy all the time. But it's like, there's, it's like they got camps everywhere around the world. And you get what you, uh, you know? It's... Uh, 1945 you wouldn't be able to go to a fucking walmart without bumping into one of those exactly engineering twinkies to travel back in time to poison churchill we oui. hello netflix what the actual f is this movie's issue with birds that a rogue macaw shit on james gunn's yeah, launch what is birds of prey now virus oh but you and you knew that uh, oh your mom told you so he can blend in lady none of these people are blending in because of clothing this is just an excuse to put them in silly outfits and while i can appreciate the humor i still have to sit it mm. damn damn you nailed it your golf hole simulator is a drinking glass it's bound to act strangely <laughs> the military must have put <laughs> signal jammers around the city your comms are down, but we could still activate the bombs. Convenient brain blasting bombs that ignore signal jammers because the plot needs them to are extremely fing convenient. How convenient. This is not dangerous. Shark is given the finger to the rules. He's in plain sight. Why are you so afraid of rats? The plague, mostly. We live yeah, I mean... almost in the streets of Skip! Still consider the rats. Um how aren't you getting the diseases? That's my question. Like, how aren't you? <sighs> the no. weapon. I don't think I can fault the state here. You have already used the rats as a weapon in the last couple days, so why the tears? Mm. You remind me of my daughter. Fuck you, dude. You made it clear in the earlier scene that you barely knew your daughter. Yeah. John Cena dancing. <laughs> ah, this is, uh... This is one of the most disturbing scenes yeah. ever. Yeah! Like, will YouTube's content filter even let us post this? Is this suitable for advertisers? Exactly. Oh, great boy, no. Thing I said to my college girl, remote control or not, this is still just a f***ing rat. How was it able to knock this guy down and resist being launched into the next I think it... Oh, let me see that. Great one out back, let's look at this jump. Thing I said to my college girl, remote control or not, this is still just one f***ing rat. How... He crawled up to him. It bit him. He was in pain. But that's not ex that's still not a reason to fall over. He just started panicking and he tripped. We'll just stick with that explanation. Was it able to knock this guy down and resist being launched into next week's Ratatouille? Yes, these guys are assassin guys. Borderline superhero-ish with abilities, but they can still die in a horrible rollover crash. Yeah! And yet they intentionally kill the driver. Then when the passenger takes over driving, they take him out too. What the Bru sh Bro, John Cena built Harley different. Quinn? They all seem to know who she was by name, but if they're tasering her to get her to talk, they don't know sh about Harley Quinn. This is absolutely making her day. Don't leave one of her own behind. Yes, you f***ing do. That's the whole point of the damn team. Or else it would be called the Leave No Person Behind squad. <laughs> Playing emoji charades at work. Also emoji charades. I mean, if you're going to be strangled to death. Much has been made I about mean, how Margo... I mean... I mean, you know? You know? <laughs> You know, I'm just saying, you know? did this using your foot to unlock the chain scene herself, which is admittedly cool as f 
But I'd have given all the sins back if she got that key into the lock, only to learn it's not the key to her chains, but some random other key, like the dude's locker at the gym. Okay, yeah, you're probably not supposed to be gambling on company time, but I still think- Holy f that handgun is pointed directly at this card-playing fellow on the left. I can understand the first couple of guards being caught unawares, but despite the gunshots, the rest of them continue to walk in one at a time, like they're coming out of a- Like, just charge her, bro. <laughs> No one will be seated during the John Wick Harley Bellum portion of the movie. Yeah, didn't Come they? On. Yeah, the, I heard that the John Wick director was the one who did all the action scenes or some ish like that. Mm -hmm. without. Come on with him. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing nothing like the fight quiz. <laughs> I guess the key to not cutting your fight scenes to hell and back is to hire Margot Robbie oh. to star in your action film. Between Birds of Prey and this film, she's clearly one of the best actors who can do stunts working in Hollywood. Yeah. Bird. Wait, so it's like, I thought, I, I, I would just assume that's a stunt double, but if she doing, okay. Okay, more respect has been put on Margot Robbie. If, if. Nah, I think she did some close-up shots, but then, like, the further shots, that's just the stunt, whatever, stunt person, fuck, I forgot, stunt double, yeah. Cutting your fight scenes to hell and back is to hire Margot Robbie to star in your action film. Mm. Between Birds of Prey and this film, she's clearly one of the best actors who can do stunts working in Hollywood. Bird. Now, now it. Stay off the comp. Why did you even give him a two-way radio? So, just because the Thinker Guy is driving, these idiots open the gate without even looking inside the weird new large vehicle the Thinker Guy is suddenly driving. None of them are like, why is he driving such a large vehicle? Mm. Why is he returning at all when he... I, was, I thought that was just a car or something. Angels are splooching all low for us. Everyone knows that angels don't splooge. They annoy. Okay, <laughs> put the white balance setting on the sun. Do you have any idea how long it takes me to get that shit dialed in? The director said, please be sure to stare directly into Cinema Sin's soul while taking a bite of this apple so he knows how big a Oh yeah, that oh he been saying that like I remember I was watching a well, I didn't watch a lot, but I watched a few. And always when there's an apple in the scene, he would always be like, Apple is a representation of being an asshole. Oh look, an apple. Just to show you he's an asshole, he bites the apple to show you that he's he's an even bigger asshole. He bit that apple that you bit. To show that you're an a I don't know. I don't know. So I'm like, he, he got this weird thing against apples for some oh, reason. The director said, please be sure to stare directly into Cinema Sin's soul while taking a bite of this apple so he knows how big of an asshole he is. <laughs> the squad slaughters the soldiers outside Jotunheim in the rain, but I refuse to believe that means anything about their abilities. Yeah. I mean, it was raining really hard. Mm. Bad guys had to squint even. Okay, Milton is here with them right now as they enter. King Shark is even behind him. Flag and Polka are abreast of him. The movie makes a big joke soon about how no one knows who he is. Wow. Why would they have given the emergency front door lock code to the scientist working on experiments inside the building? This is a military <laughs> facility. Good thing they literally left the front door open. If God existed, wouldn't this be proof that he wasn't good at all? Well, no, actually. God's goodness, at least biblically speaking, from a New Testament perspective, is not something that prevents all human suffering, but rather something that offers grace and redemption to all those who have suffered. Ooh. Character backs away from something Ooh, scary and okay. becomes scared by something horrible behind them, cliche. Flag pulls out a single hard drive and a wall of rack computers and servers and somehow decides it's the one he's after. And it appears he's right. Yeah, it's like, what are the odds? No, no searching, no just, you know, just no like, oh, wow. I was very lucky that I found this one in particular. It's like, bro, come on. Plot, my guy. Years of what we are led to believe is agonizing torture and Space Patrick kills the thinker guy this quickly. Damn it. Where's my tentacle-based revenge? <laughs> Doctor Who is splat. Killed with a ceramic shard. He crazy aided him. <sighs> Movie has time for this shark jumping side to side while the fish mimic his shape bullshit. I'm not sure we'd have time for this crap in a movie titled Shark Jump Side to Side <laughs> While Fish Mimic His Shape. She was a really nice guy, and he sacrificed himself to help us. Did he did not. At best, he sacrificed himself to set up this attempt at a comical yeah. exchange about <laughs> no one noticing his existence. <laughs> Poor guy, bro. Poor Milton. Well worth the cost of admission. From this point on, what with the building falling apart and flooding, I'm just adding 40 sins for everyone who survives this baloney. Also, Michael Bay call, and he wants his climax in a collapsing building shtick back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but this is tame. I know we all love King Shark, but the amount of bullets being unloaded into him is enough to take down a tank, let alone a super strong sea animal. Why stop the? Yeah, I was here? like, uh, 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 what? Can the dude? Can King? Oh, now now we are okay. King Shark. Can King? Can King Shark heal? Does he have healing abilities, or is just that, or is just that durable? You know. A ton of debris mm. falling around you. 
symbol. It killed Colonel Fly. You wanted to share this with the That would have at least slowed it down. You know, slowed down the. But uh, what can I say? This isn't the pronoun game, but it's pronoun confusion. Because the way she phrased this suggests it was Peacemaker who wanted to share the hard drive with the press. Hold up, let me hear how she phrased that. Why stop the mm. car here? There's still a ton of debris yeah, around true. here. Yeah, true. just kept driving, my guy. Ooh, that, was, that visual is kind of fire. You wanted to share this with the press. This isn't the pronoun game. But okay, pronoun I see game. what you mean. Because the way she phrased this suggests it was Peacemaker who wanted to share the hard drive with yeah. the press. But it was flag. Mm. I know this would be quite the anticlimax, but why does Cornell not tell his people to immediately open fire on the... Yeah, I was also wondering, like, I was like, oh shit, these, these, they're about to get out. And then they're about to unload some shots into these dudes. But then, nah, they just watched them leave and escape. But maybe they were just... But, nah, still, uh, starfish are not... I don't know. Because they could have been out there to attack them. As far as he knows, they're just running from a collapsing building. And even if he did know they were running from Starro, the f difference does it make? Shoot them! Isn't that yeah, yeah the exactly. The army in the first place? The last starfighter here steals the face-hugging technique from the Alien franchise. And I am not okay with adding this to my very specific list of face-impregnating night terrors. <laughs> Straight up murder. Yeah. Oh. Listen to me, people. Do yourself a favor and never, ever Google the phrase armpit ejaculate. Let my pain be enough to cover us all. Still better than the... Oh, bro, I'm, I can already kind of imagine it. I'm just thinking about this, but in a human perspective, but it just looks like... Uh, you know, it looks like nut. That's what I'm thinking about, but golly. Okay, but if I search... Oh, no, I'm not gonna search rampage, that. Um, Bloodsport is off I gotta disrespect Rampage, Fine. though. You can't set him up as the asshole father who has had all the goodness pulled out of him by an equally assholey father of his own, and then spontaneously okay, decide that he... Okay, I hope CinemaSense says this about why would she want to stop him if... She's, he's the one, like, if they're the only ones who are willing to do this, willing to save the world, and you're gonna kill them anyway, so you want them to leave the fucking country or the place, and then let the kaiju take over the world? It's like, yeah, let Superman come over and take over, but just let them try at least, you know? As a heart all along. I mean, you can, but it's some bullshit. You shall be rightfully punished as a result. Mm. I knew Sebastian sensed good in you for a reason. A I'm sorry. This is nitpicky even for me, but the for a reason here in this sentence is bothering me. It's completely unneeded and actually makes no sense. The rat, Sebastian, sensed good in Bloodsport, but Bloodsport didn't believe it. So mm. all she has to say here is, I knew Sebastian sensed good in you, and that's it. He didn't sense good in the man for a reason. The rat didn't know there would be a pivotal climactic moment where Bloodsport was <laughs> too good. He just sensed good in him, the way Luke sensed good in Vader. Imagine Vader throwing the Emperor over the ledge and down the yeah. I watched Star Wars like that, saying, but... I knew I sensed good in you for a reason. It makes no f***ing sense. Yes, Waller's subordinates did the right thing morally in incapacitating her and allowing the squad to live and fight. But the movie glosses over how all of them will end up in Gitmo with no names, fingerprints shaved down, mumbling into the bucket they're given to poop in. True. What in the nanotech f***ery is this bullshit? For real! Bloodsport was the sole member of the squad to graduate from the Prometheus School of Running Away From Things. As always, next time, guys. <laughs> Party! Take the hard ground! What? She has a spear. You have guns and grenades and arrows and all kinds of sh Why is she taking the high ground? I mean, yeah, it works out. That yeah. She stabs the star yeah, thing in the eyeball, does. but he didn't know that when he gave this order. This is a terrible order. I bet nearly one third of this film's entire budget went to the CGI of the climax. Taking your preteen <laughs> daughter up to deadly heights just to teach a lesson about purpose. Also, how the f did they even get up there? They're not Batman. Oh, uh, you may be tempted to Let me guess. They made a, a ladder with the rats, but that still wouldn't make no sense at all. But I don't know. The underwater gracefulness of Harley and the rats. I'm here to remind you. This, that is, this not is not water, water. yeah. It's eyeball juice. I was happy, floating, staring at the stars. Legit one of the best villain lines of all time because it sympathizes him instantly. I'll take another sin off. Oh, my daughter ever sees the inside of a prison, it goes public. Wait, what if your daughter goes on a mass murder spree and kills 16 people by strangulation? Waller knows we double cross her and she's coming I mean, back at us by saddle. I mean... I don't know. I guess with this douchebag. Dude, you're lucky to still have your head in the same continent as your torso, let alone still be f***ing employed after the shenanigans that went down with Waller. She's willing to sacrifice Bloodsport's child for the sake of a mission, but these f***wits get a free pass because, ah, screw it. Oh, yeah, no. true. True, that is just kinda, the, the, the double stand is just kinda, 
come on, you should add a little bit more to that punishment, you know, but... Okay. That doesn't make sense. So, hold up, I gotta stop it at the same Mission, time. but these f wits get a free pass because... Ah, oh, screw it. I'm out. That doesn't make sense. Okay, death by starfish, I guess. that That's the death sentence, although, you know, the sentence for all of these sins counted up, but golly. Some might agree, but some might just overlook them because I was like, nah, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. I, I commented when I had to comment, but golly. Overall, still a good video. Prefer the, the wins better, but I still love the sins, bro. I, I don't know why, anytime there's an apple involved, I just think, yo, I hope Cinema Sins does uh, whatever us. Uh, a sin counts to this movie to this show i don't know wait do they do shows okay if they do nah because i see a lot of i see a lot of like copyright and blockings and shit so i don't think they would do shows because you know but maybe they can if they cut it you know, they can't do full episodes. Like, they're just gonna do how they do the movie things. But overall, yeah, I enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know which other video to react to, and I'm gonna check it out. So, uh, with that said, I'm gonna see y'all later.